You've heard it's coming and now next steps are actually happening for the Pfizer booster shot. Researchers, they're also testing how it works with other common vaccines. That's what we've been wondering about the booster shot. You know, if there's going to be a booster every fall that we have to get, is it something we can combine with another vaccine? It is a third dose Americans could take every year, like the flu shot, to prevent contracting new strains of the coronavirus. And we are working a few different angles for COVID vaccines. News for Jack's reporter Kelly Wiley is live with when we could see a booster shot become publicly available. Kelly? Yeah, this morning, Pfizer announced it's testing a new booster COVID-19 shot. It's the third dose the company CEO says Americans who are fully vaccinated will likely need in another 12 months. The goal of the study is to see if another vaccine can be taken along with the booster dose of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. In this study, participants will get both the booster shot and a pneumonia vaccine. To see if they're able to tolerate it, see if that in any way adversely affects their development of antibodies against COVID-19 and see how the immune reaction is, you know, the side effect profile of the combination. And if that looks good, maybe then consider combining it with a seasonal flu vaccine as well. At the same time, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention is investigating several reports that teenagers and young adults may have developed a heart problem called myocarditis days after getting vaccinated. The agency has not yet determined that there's evidence that the vaccines actually cause the heart condition. But this is very preliminary, and I would, um, I, I would not get too concerned about it until the details are fleshed out. There's a good chance that these will just be random cases that have absolutely nothing to do with the vaccine. Dr. Corin also points out the COVID-19 virus itself has been shown to cause myocarditis. You should always consider side effects of the vaccine against side effects of COVID-19. And you're far more likely to get severe cardiac side effects from COVID-19 than from the vaccine based on lots of information. And again, these are the important things to remember about that heart condition we were just discussing. CDC researchers have not yet said that the COVID-19 vaccine and that heart condition are linked or are caused by one another. Also, this isn't linked to any particular brand of vaccine. The CDC says so far these cases have been mild and they mostly been showing up in young adolescent or young adult males. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, the local station.